Hey YouTube, Sam here. We're about to build Stick that. around until the end, and I got 10 or 11 tips on uh, things to, to do and not to do on building this shed, uh, or portable garage, whatever you want to call it. I got this 10 foot by 17 foot Harbor Freight portable the window, garage. So hopefully you can see this well enough. Uh, this is what comes in the bags. Um, it all seems to be pretty well packaged. I'm going to go through the instructions. Gonna look and make sure I have every little part and piece. Now normally I don't do this, but because I'm actually not probably gonna put this together today, um, I only have 90 days to make sure I have everything and everything works. So I'm just gonna kind of do dry fits of things and make sure all the parts and pieces are here. And then if they're not instructions, I uh, got to this page that kind of has everything as far as the frame. And I looked and I counted and I made sure that I had everything, but I did notice it didn't show the ratchet strap things and that. So uh, actually, if I'd have been smart and went through the whole book, here on the next to last, there's the last page. Next to last page, it actually has all the parts and pieces. So I went ahead and went through all that one more time, made sure I had everything. Now, here's a couple things here. Um, I know I have the top, but the uh, door cover and the back cover. I knew I had at least one of them, but they are put together in the package. Uh, I pulled the package apart to make sure. And what they're calling rope, um, I wasn't positive about that. I didn't really see anything. But when you tear this apart uh, on the corners of all of them, it has this uh, strap material here um, on all four corners and then some. So. I'm assuming, and I hate to assume, that's why I tore this all apart to make sure I had both front and back, but I'm assuming that's what they're calling rope is that, uh, I can't even think of what the name of it is, but it's like a weaving uh, stuff, so, uh, which I'd rather have that than rope anyway, probably a little bit stronger anyhow as far as uh, not tearing the tarp up as much. Anyhow, uh, something else I did read one of the warnings said not to use where there's a lot of snow, which I do have a lot of snow, but it says to take the tarp off. Um, so you're going to have to decide whether or not you want to spend time taking the tarp off, but it does say that it, uh, it won't hold a snow load, which kind of surprises me a bit. Um, anyhow, and high winds, which I also have some, but I think where I'm putting it won't be too big of a deal. But going through everything everything is here everything got packaged fine all the nuts and bolts are here everything so i've gone through i'm satisfied that i have all the parts and pieces now it's time to start putting a while putting since uh i did the first part of this video and i decided i'm just going to put them together here so we're going to start putting together this uh harbor freight uh, portable shed here of course sir i start filming here somebody's going to start mowing their lawn but uh, bear with me. We're, we're just putting it beside the house here. Now this is just kind of be a temporary area for now because I got to get some stuff out from under the weather here and get this thing up. So, and there's Dakota. Hey, Dakota. Anyway, uh, so I flattened this out pretty decently through here, but it's not perfect by any means. I'm not going to worry about it too much. There's Indy. Andy. First thing we're going to do is put this uh, ridge cap together here. Um, so we need two A's, two B's, and three fours. So I'm going to dig through the pile of stuff over here, and those are the poles I need. should look something like that. And that's the ridge of it. Now we're going to go on. We're going to do the second part here, and we're going to put these in here. So we need to get one, two, three, four. So eight number threes, something like that. Now this is where I'm gonna differ from the directions, just from checking out people doing this on YouTube. Um, by the looks of it, most people you end up putting the whole frame together and then you almost have to tear half of it apart just to put the tarp part back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and start slipping my tarp pieces on right now because I have it this way, it's down where I can reach it and We'll see. It may be a bad idea. If it is, you'll know about it. If it's a good idea, then you'll also know about it. I found the middle one of these. Basically, you just got to pull this apart, stick this over the edge here for now, and put that on. Then we're going to put these sides. The next step here, we need two uh, A2, 
B1, B1, and A1. And three number fours. So that's what we're putting together there. And those go right along this edge and also on the other My first almost mistake here. Um, I put this together like this on both sides, but if you look, if you do A1 or A2 here, you got to do A1 on the other side. So A2 here, A1 on the other side. So A1 here, A2 on this side. I'm going to put this oops, longer piece up, shorter piece down. Like that. Then the next piece that goes across is going to go in here. And it's pretty self explanatory from there. Uh, but the main thing I was going to show you here is actually this is where I differ from the instructions bit here again. Instead of putting that piece on, I'm going to go ahead and take the black knob or black uh, cord here, whatever it is, and go ahead and put over that and then put this piece. Something in. like this across the bottom here. And we got the tarps going across here as well. to the bottom here. So you get studs number one, which I go on all four corners. And you find these, put them on the bottom of those, find the appropriate nuts and bolts. Now the ones in my kit anyway, they may vary in kit to kit, who knows. Actually have like a normal bolt head on them. Um, and there's a sack of nuts in there. So we're going to put them all together, start putting them on the something like that. And i got to tighten these up. Um, I'm actually going to wait to tighten things up until the very number end. Number six, which is a curved bottom leg area, and the number two legs. And these actually go on all four corners. These ones go on the inside. a little difficult to see, but right here is actually the ridge cap. This is actually the side of the top. Now what I did is I went along and I put all the two middle legs in and lifted the whole side of the top up then put the two side ones on got one over here and one over there oh right there and i lifted that up so it's tilting at an angle now you are gonna especially if you're yourself by yourself like i am right now uh things are going to kind of fall apart and you're going to have to kind of go through and gingerly move things around until everything comes back in shape but Basically, like I said, right now this whole thing is tilted at an angle like that. And then I am going to also differ from the plans uh, for right now anyway. And I'm going to go ahead and put the tarp on the top part right now. So that way, in theory, when I lift this side up here, my tarp will already be over the top and I don't have to try and wrestle it. Uh, if it becomes too heavy and things start moving too much uh, i'll have to take a different route but for right now that's still well, my plan as you can see i lifted it up i just grabbed it in the center lifted up put those two center poles in i haven't even put these two outer ones on yet and it's holding it pretty good now i would be careful to do this in the wind for sure uh, it wasn't that heavy for me but this is where i say uh, if you don't like the way I'm doing something, definitely don't do it. If you hurt yourself or somebody gets hurt doing something that I show you to do, I am not responsible. So please do this at your own risk. I'm going to go ahead and put the two outer legs on. And, uh, and I pretty much have the tarp just sitting over the top. Got the front and the back tarps on. And I'm glad I did it that way. That seemed very simple. Now this isn't to say you're not going to be able to have to get up on a ladder and do some uh, maneuvering of the tarp a little bit. I'll show you some of it later. Um, but at this point, they actually tell you to measure the front and the back and then put in these anchors. Well, I'm not quite ready to put in these anchors yet. Uh, I'm not sure if it's exactly where I want it. Um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and skip to the next part for now. And that's when you get into all this tarp stuff which I've already done so the next part after that is putting these on and they go through the tarp the poles go through the tarp their number uh, what number are they number fives I believe yeah put those through the tarp and then you put these on and that hardware should be in your kit starting to lose light here so hopefully this is coming out alright. These right. poles all the way through uh, they just kind of go 
through one hole and into another. Um, you know, watch out, they actually just slice these. So there's sections where it doesn't go through at. Um, so, but it's pretty easy. Just all the way around, we'll stick the poles through. And then the next thing we need to do is we got these. And these ones here go on the ends. So, corners, corner. And these go in the middle. So I'll go ahead and start putting those on. Well, YouTube, it's the next day. Uh, pretty much have it all up. Got all the stakes done. Now we're to kind of fit in the tarps correctly. So I get stung by bees here. Uh, and they'll probably look something like this when you're all done. They're just kind of hanging from the straps and things like that. Um, so we'll go inside here. And I got this one done. Um, so what I'm going to do now that I kind of know how to do it, I'm going to show you on this side. So here we go. First of all, I got to zip that up uh, so that it's so nice. The next and thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and I drove this in a corner here, drove another one in that corner over there. So I got one side exactly where I wanted it. Um, being as in my area you have to be five feet away from the neighbor's fence I am now five feet away from the neighbor's fence so that's how that's how I decided where I wanted this leg and where I wanted it at according to that fence right there and what I did is I went ahead and put the stake that came with it in I also put another one on I got a block under here because this side's low and the rest of it's on the ground, but I got a fairly low spot here. Um, but I went ahead and situated that and I drove my own stakes in. It doesn't come with these, but uh, I would definitely get those. Um, and then I went ahead and I tightened all of these up across the side here so it's nice and tight. Um, and then I did the same thing over here. I put in the the uh, thing that came with it to hold down there and, and another when spike. I finish getting that all set where I wanted it and have the spike in there and it's all situated down on both sides the directions say from this side to that side across the front and the back of the tent you want or the garage whatever you want to call it uh, you want 10 feet 2 inches from I measured it from this bar here. It seems to be it's somewhere in this curve needs to be two, 10 feet 2 inches. Because uh, if you try and measure it from the ends here, it's uh, too wide. It just doesn't go that far. So you want it from, I did it from the bar right here. Uh, you can decide where you want to measure it from. And then I staked that down and got that all set there. So that's what I'm about to do here on this side is I have this one all set. I measure from that bar there across to that bar there, 10 feet 2 inches. I've marked it. Now we're going to stake it down with the provided stake and the stake that I uh, am do putting in. It's from corner to corner, opposite corners. You want to measure that from here to there not to make you sick and from there to this back corner over here and in my case I'm about one inch off I'm okay with that you can choose to get as close as you want to get but I'm pretty well as square as I'm gonna worry about it uh, this tin is gonna move at some point in time hopefully in the near future so I'm not Here's too worried about it I got some pretty hard ground here and I gotta say people knock these um, Big giant rock, right? Of course, right where I want to be. There we go. People knock these um, stakes. I don't think they're too bad. I got some really rocky soil here, and uh, so far I've been able to get them into all four corners. Now, hopefully, you can see this. I'm just kind of starting it by hand until I can't really get it to go down anymore got an old screwdriver it's got a messed up end on it here and I'm just using that to kind of get it as far as I can and each time I hit like a rock or it just doesn't seem like it'll go any further 
what I do is as I'm kind of turning, I'm just kind of giving it a tap, not pounding on it, just giving it a tap. And so far, this is the last one I need to do and I've gotten them all in. So there's a little tip on how to get those made me a liar. I got it in there though. I'll show you up close kind of how the uh, put it how through this stuff. side hole here. Put one through there. Oop. A little further away than I want. Okay, so you got one going through the hole, one on the outside of the hole. Put the two ends together. And then it comes with this right here. It's like a cable holder. That's all it is. And you gotta loosen these up. You just go ahead and loosen them up right to the top. Careful you don't lose the little bolts. You don't have to take it out all the way. You want to give yourself quite a bit of room. Put that through there. Put the other end through there. And there it just squeezes it together. And I have a 5 16 wrench. Seems to be the size it works. Well, now it's time to put the tarps up. And when you're, after you're all done with everything else and everything like that, uh, even though we put the tarps on first so that we, you know, could get them up there without having to deal with pulling everything apart to put them on, I think that worked out really well, I'll be honest. Um, but you still are going to have to climb on a ladder and kind of cinch things up so that it's all the same. And what you're going to have to do is you're going to start at the top here and you're going to use the front panel or both the front and the back panel uh, whichever you choose to start with first uh, you're going to want to go ahead and start with the panel the smaller panel you don't want to start with the top up here uh, you want to start with this front panel here and we're going to wrap that around the bars uh, so the bars go across here that piece there is actually going to wrap up and around the bars um, I did it in the back here so when it's all said and done it's going to look like that uh, where it's kind of wrapped around and then uh, it'll be cinched up on the bottom. Uh, down on the bottom this the smaller panels the front and the back panel are going to be at the bottom tied together with the black strap uh, that is already inside the panel and it's going to be knotted and it's going to be tied together and knotted. What you're going to want to do is actually untie that and on both sides. What you're want to, going to want to do is go ahead and stick the uh, black straps through it and uh, cinch it up on both sides. And basically all that's going to do is kind of weight down the bottom and keep those straps from coming out. You really don't want those straps to come out because it'll be a pain in the butt to get them back. Like that. And basically that just keeps that you're strap kind of situated a little bit. It's never going to stay perfectly. The next step is that there's this black strap that's going around this bar up here. And what you're going to do is just kind of pull that. You're going to be careful because this already has kind of a rip. And I don't know, hopefully you can see that up there. It kind of just popped over. So I'm just pulling on this black strap to kind of tighten things up a little bit. And then down at the bottom, the same black strap is coming out where I told you to hook on the, the ratchet strap. And you're going to want to pull on that to get all your slack out and basically that should get you closer to being where you need to be. Pull these straight out and this is basically going to hook into that hole right there. So then you take your strap, flatten it out. This goes through the middle of this circular part here and then back through over the top of that. And then you're gonna wanna cinch that fairly tight. Now what you're gonna wanna do is kinda keep this flat, keep this flat, pull it fairly tight. You don't have to kill it, because right now we're just doing one side. Okay, that'll hold that for now. Then we're gonna move to the other side, get that cinched up all the way around. It'll look like this, this whole thing just folds around the bar. You aren't putting the bar through this, it just folds around and then cinches tight down there. And it's all the way around, it looks close to that. 
down to the top and I took the ladder and up here I just kind of scooted everything over the edge that all needs to kind of fold over the uh, front front piece here so all that folds over and then we're gonna take here's the strap that I'm putting this on now you want to take it and open it up as far as you can and then there's a spring here that's hooked to a little lever another spring here hooked to another level lever you want to pull those apart from each other and open that up all the way as far as it'll go then this middle piece you can turn that around so it's this hole that's in the middle is facing flat all the way across hopefully that makes sense then you're going to figure out where you're going to hook it so I'm going to have this coming around here coming around the back of this pole I hope you can see it and it's going to be hooked down to this corner down here so that will have to be facing this direction so what you're going to do now that you've figured out what direction that needs to be you're going to put it through here and you want this hanging off the bottom just so you know then you're going to put the strap back over the top and through underneath this piece here hopefully you can see that and then you're going to go ahead and pull those apart and it'll just kind of sit the way you want it to and then i'm going to hook that in here i'm going to pull it fairly tight i'm not going to reef on it oh i need to tighten that up so i need to tighten that up better uh fairly tight and i'm just going to give it couple ratchets so it holds it now on the other side I've already put this ratchet on the string just so it doesn't come back through it's not hooked to anything though so you don't want to sit here and ratchet this for a long period of time all right and I rolled this up started rolling it up and it was a little bit difficult so I went and actually found a fairly long dowel that went across there and started at the bottom rolled it up and it comes with these velcro straps strap on each side um, seen some pretty neat uh, deals where people make roller upper things with ropes and stuff like that so you might want to check one of those out if you want uh, there's a couple of them on YouTube um, and we got the ratchets all ratcheted up on both sides uh, I need to go to the back and make sure it's good but as you can see it again hopefully there's not too much flashy that when you strap it up so that goes around the post down and into these holes on both sides there's there's holes uh, and that's where I put my straps but uh, that should fold around fairly tightly all the way around and that should shed the water off there. pretty much uh, we're all done so stick around for some of the uh, little tips and tricks I'm gonna have a tips and tricks at the end here in case you didn't hear that all right here's my tips and tricks I had to write a few of them down and there goes my son hopefully you can see me uh, first of all putting the tarp on first great idea I, I, it worked great for me especially with a one man doing it kind of thing um, I didn't have any problems with that you're still gonna have to get on a ladder to do some situating but you're not going to have to, uh, if you looked at any of the these videos, you're not going to have to pull anything apart and redo it afterward. Um, it's all just you do it as you're going along, especially like these side pieces. You see a lot of people put those on first and, and then wind up having to take all the nuts and bolts and everything out to redo it. Uh, staking the corners, getting your own stake, staking those down where the measurements are, where you want it to sit. Uh, I think that helped a lot, both in uh, just it not moving around as I was situating things. Once I staked it down, I could move things around, and that, I knew that corner was going to stay right where I wanted it. Uh, you might go around and actually put a stake in every single leg. I'm probably actually going to go back and do Three. that. Washers. Uh, these bottom side bolts down here, uh, they're the only bolts in the whole thing. and. Uh, Oh, except for the ones where you put the bottom parts of the legs on. Uh, even those ones too. I wish I would have went and grabbed some washers. It didn't come with any washers and you definitely kind of scrape things up without the washers. So I wish I would have either gotten washers with the kit, which most of the time you don't, uh, or went and got my own washer. Should have done that. Alright, number four. I clamped these right where this bar and this bar came together. I feel 
it uh, will just kind of help keep things together in a, in a wind. Um, I don't know if that's where you're supposed to put them. Uh, by the looks of the tent, uh, I'm thinking you maybe are supposed to put them a little bit lower than that. And I just went along and eyeballed where it looked like it was straight all the way across. Uh, you can measure and level and all whatever you want to do. But that's where I put it. I believe it'll help for extra strength. But I have noticed that um, all the way around, if you look, this piece here I think is supposed to be more on the ground. Although, as you can see here, it still spreads out on the ground plenty. So um, that's up to you on where you want to put those. But that's where I decided to for a little Five. extra strength. Uh, Using the hammer to secure in the stakes that came with the uh, portable garage here. Um, that worked really well. Three of them went in great that way. It knocked all the rocks out. The last one that I actually tried to film, I had a little bit more trouble in, but I did get it in. And I have some seriously rocks. Uh, the ratchets, anytime you take off a uh, knot on one of these straps put a ratchet on it just put a few uh, twists into it with the ratchet have the ratchet so it hangs off of there that way you won't lose a strap inside the tarp that would suck number seven stake one side at a time so i took the stakes that i got and staked them down five feet from that fence and then i was able to measure the other side and stake it down so just do one side exactly where you know you want it then do your measurements and figure Great. it out. Uh, zipper. Uh, the weird thing. I, I noticed my zippers were just kind of no man's land here. Uh, but actually they seem to be like a self-healing zipper of some sort. So you gotta zip it all the way down. And then zip it back up so that you can open your zipper here. I also noticed on the bottom it's um, actually folded up. Show you. show you on that right there you can see it it's kind of like folded um, this side it came apart pretty easy the other side I had to kind of pull it apart to get it to come apart it is really hot in here so I'm gonna go ahead and open this. number nine uh, don't tighten any of the ratchet straps um, real tight at first get everything on and then tighten the ratchet straps down case in point I had to loosen this back top part here to be able to get it to go over the edge of the tent. Um, but otherwise I didn't have too many problems, but that was one of those things, you know, I wish I would have known that I tightened it down too far back here so it wouldn't work up here. So wait until the end to really tighten everything down and then don't reef it too much because I actually did kind of rip part of one over here by tightening Number it. Number 10, uh, the dowel for the door. Uh, that made it a lot easier to roll up the door. Not a super big tip, but um, I tried rolling it up without it at first to get the door up and it was just very difficult and kind of unwieldy we'll say. Uh, so that dowel, I just found a dowel that was not quite as long as the, the doorway and rolled it up in there, made it a lot easier to roll up and uh, strap it up there. So anyhow, um, this was super easy. I really honestly think anybody can do this, especially if you had two, two people or more. Um, you could put it up in a day easy. Um, even with the issues I have, it, I put it up all by myself in less than a, a weekend. So it took me you know, a few hours here and there uh, when I could work on it. And uh, I really think if I would have started in the morning, even with some fairly long breaks, I could have finished by the afternoon. I just really ran out of light last night. Um, started pretty late yesterday. So I really think anybody could do this. And I definitely, number one tip, uh, make that, that tarp, put that on before you put it up. Um, get one side on, put the tarp, then push the other side up, put the two middle poles in, and then the outer poles in. You know, you still have to get on a ladder to, to maneuver it around a little bit, but that's way easier than trying to pull pull it apart and put the straps around and put it all back together. Um, and not to mention trying to, I, I've seen people that had uh, ropes that are supposed to come with the kit. Mine, I didn't see any ropes. The only ropes there were with the black straps that go through that you ratchet everything down with. But there were supposed to be ropes with the kit 
that you hook on and one side and bring it all the way up and over and that didn't seem like fun to me uh, even if I had the ropes which I didn't so uh, doing it that way was much easier. It's all done. Uh, it was fairly simple even with only one person so uh, this is nothing any of you out there couldn't do. Alright this is Sam, Jack of all, Master of None. You all have a good one.